Voila! Winter is over. Grab your Tommy Bahama floral and send it to the dry cleaner. The <laughs> cold air is coming and crushing uh, the warm weather we had. I got the Forsythia. I cheated. I brought it in the house a couple weeks ago in the Pussy Willows. So the snow is ga gone around Boston, but the snowpack is solid in the mountains. And when I say solid, I mean figuratively and literally. That warm air came in and uh, it was enjoyable. Paul Butler did the Trinity. Sugar Loaf on Wednesday, Saddleback on Thursday, Sunday River on Friday. He says it was getting firm up top on Friday, even though it's still near 70 at my house. Uh, the pets are all around out here in the sunshine, loving it. Uh, this weekend, you ever heard of a Scooby Shack? How about a Scooby Snack? Uh, bring your Subaru to Killington at Ram's Head. Ski the East crew will be there, along with some swag and some snacks and maybe some hot chocolate. It's going to be a cold weekend. Uh, there is some snow in the forecast. Here is the Saturday map. Those blue blotches, a little bit like last weekend. Look at the size of that storm out in Colorado, Wyoming. It may make history, and it may break into pieces and come our way after the weekend. What we have, though, are a couple of fronts. Uh, we had one front come through on Friday morning. It's already uh, getting cold in the mountains. And snow squalls and snow showers, both Saturday night and Sunday night, uh, those are the ups, uh, excuse me, Friday night and Saturday night, those are the upslope favorite areas, northern New York, northern Vermont, uh, northern New Hampshire, and also around Saddleback and Sugarloaf, you may actually have an extended period of snow during Sunday, and there are going to be wind hold issues, especially first thing Saturday and most of the day on Sunday. It's going to be about as cold as it gets around here Sunday night and Monday night. Looks sunny on, on Monday. Uh, sunny away from the higher elevations on the weekend, so it's kind of a mixed weekend. Lower south-facing slopes obviously will have softer snow. Uh, the uh, the snowfall total over the next 10 days, though, look at that bullseye uh, there on the Wyoming-Colorado border. Here in the northeast, it's going to snow. It says coast to coast on that map, but I'm not sure when and how much. It's a really tough call for St. Patrick's Day. I think we might be white. We're certainly going to be wearing the green, and then... Uh, it may get warm enough for a wintry mix again late next week, but it's far from over. March used to be a snowy month. Now we get them in April and May. So have your shirts ready. We'll see you on the slopes. Those birds are tormenting Steve. <laughs> What's up, Steve? And Mitt. I know, I know. The birds are out, Rex. Why can't I come out? <laughs> I know, I know. I like my tripod. Props. How's that, Rex? I'm overdressed? <laughs> He's laying in the shade. That's how warm it is here. Rex is laying in the shade. Say hello to everybody, Rex. <laughs> Not that warm. 